<laughs> what's up uh so we're gonna switch it up today i do have jeans but i'm gonna switch it up um i'm gonna show you some new stuff i got and yeah reason why i say i'm switching it up because i already said bam look at those so i bought a bunch of shoes used shoes i actually started off my ebay trying to do only shoes and i still have quite a few shoes from like last year um i think i learned a little bit but not like enough not like how i learned about jeans in the in the short period of time um shoes are cool shoes can be cool to sell um so yeah i learned I, I have so many shoes with holes in them i learned really quick that you have to like with shoes i guess with anything you really just have to really like inspect inspect everything before you before you uh purchase them so these are nikes uh these are uh so what are some good shoes Nike running shoes, Adidas running shoes, uh, running shoes in general. Those are really good to, to pick up. Um, so, yeah, these are good. Um, I'm probably going to clean these a little bit. Just just like, you know, spritz, spook, spook. Um, next pair of shoes. We got Converse. Con Converse? Converse? Converse, converts, converts. Um, for me, some weird for for some weird reason, converts sell really slow. But I always pick them up because I know they're gonna sell eventually. These do have some like yellowing on the on the in the fronts. I don't know if I should like go in and do some like deep cleaning or just you know like hey, these are used converse. Uh, they say love on the side. That's pretty cool. I like that. You know, I like love. Love is cool. These are size... Size 7 in men. Size 9 in women. I do like about... I do like that about Converse. They're always unisex. So, they always tell you um, the price. I mean, the... <laughs> they tell you the, um, the size in both uh, genders. So... These are really good condition, actually. Um, there's not a like a lot of wear on the on the rubber. It doesn't look like this person, whoever owned these, wore them a lot. Uh, coming in strong with some more Converse, uh, all whites. They are dirty. Um, but they're still in good condition. Size 11, size 13 in, in women. Size 13 in women, size 11 in men. I'm going to probably clean these up. Uh, I'm going to see if I can use our special solution. Some OxyClean and a dash of bleach with uh, some... Um, vinegar see if that will work <clears throat> if not i just ruined a pair of good shoes <clears throat> so two converse nike running shoes okay here's something random they're like forgot what this is like a uh a leather what is it called um sway to sway you don't got the answer, Sway. The brand is called Two Two Boot New York. Adam Delor D Decor Delor. I don't know. I did. I picked these up because of the bottoms. Look at that. It's like a map of that says the Bronx. So this is New York. Oh look, yeah, it is. I didn't even realize it's Central Park. I've never been to New York, so can't really say anything. Uh. But yeah, this is like a map of a part of New York. 
That is really cool. I didn't know what it was a map of. I just realized it was a map. That's super cool. So that's cool. I'm assuming this is a New York and a New York brand. I don't know. Um, they are size. What size are you guys? They're made in Italy, huh? And I think these are size nine. I hope that's what that means. Made in Italy, uh, N. I don't know what that's what that means. That symbol right there. If you know what that symbol is, let's see if I can get it going. I don't know what the N O symbol is. Number nine, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty cool. They're made in Italy, but they have Italian. But they have a uh, New York. Uh, New York, the New York, like, map on it. That is cool, if you ask me. But you're not. Maybe you are. I don't know. Okay. Some Nike running shoes. Boom. Dual Fusion. Nike Dual Fusion. I don't know if that's the name. These actually surprisingly have good bottoms. Um, size 11 in men. Um, the This one has some ink on it. And then, weirdly, it has metal. Little shreds of sheets, whatever, of metal on it. I don't know what that's about. Like, I guess someone was pouring metal and, it, and some of it dripped on, like they were melting metal and it dripped on the shoes. Um, it's just a few drops here and there. You can pull them off. But, yeah, uh, I guess these are like would be good for like, if you're just trying to run on run on a on a uh, budget these would probably be some good shoes okay these actually have some good bottoms too that was a thing i was picking up everything and anything when i first started buying shoes now when it comes to everything now i'm getting i get real picky i i I do get mad if I do leave a store and don't buy anything, but it's better than I'm like a little upset at that po at that time than wasting my money buying something that I can't resell. So, some New Balance Fresh Forms. Uh, these are actually surprisingly in really good shape. Um, I'll probably just give them a little spritz, a little clean off, you know what I'm saying? Their insides are really nice. These are size, uh, the, the, the sizing is rubbed off in there. These are size, uh, completely rubbed off. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know what size these are. I thought I had everything down packed, but obviously I don't. Um, this is a hard one. This is a real hard one right here. Cause the, the size, everything in there is just rubbed off. See that? So, I mean, they're size 40 in, I think they're size 40, 40 and a half in, uh, in the European. So I will do the conversion there. Well, at least I have that. So that's, that's good. Size 40, 40 and a half in Europe, in European size. Now let's just switch it up with some boots. These are all, these are, I saw a, a couple of them. These are all like uh, leather boots. I don't know if boots are 
unisex or not, but I picked them up. I guess, no, I don't think they are. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I've never worn boots before. Um, they do show wear and tear, but you know they're boots. Um, this is a uh, Tony Lima. These are Tony Limas. Um, I don't know if that means anything to you, but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some research. Just do a wipe off. And yeah, take some photos. Boots. Boots. More boots. <laughs> Those are, I'm being, I'm really good at these, uh, finding shoes with like really good bottoms. Because sometimes when you go in these stores, it's, it's all eaten out and everything, man. Um, these are Master... Master Master Boot Co. I think that's what it says. Master Masters on Boot Co. Master Boot Co. So I'm gonna have to do some research on that. And more boots. <laughs> uh yeah, I I'm going to test out these boots, see how they do. This one now does have like more wear on the bottom, but if you're just dancing and getting on your horse, hopping in your truck, it ain't nothing, you know, nothing, nothing too serious. These are no chun, no Kono boots, no Kono, no Kono, no Kono, no Kono. I think that's how you pronounce it. No Kono boots. Um, yep. Gonna do some research on these as well and see how that goes. What else do I have? Well, we can go back to our original program. Jeans. Uh, old navies. Nothing special. I know these are in good condition. I actually washed these yesterday. Um, Columbia. These are some Colombian, Colombia, not Colombian, uh, Colombia just pants, uh, size 36 by 32, 550, 59, 42 by 30. Um, light wear on the hems, hems, hemi hems, but good overall. You, you you put on some boots, you put on your on your your fifty fives, and you're good to go, bro. You're good to go. What are you? Uh, Urban Pipeline. Urban Pipeline. They're in really good condition. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, I've never picked up Urban Pipeline. And I decided to test them. I'm decided I'm going to test them out. Hopefully, I can get them up today. Hopefully, I can get all this up today. I actually sold my other. I'm going to butcher this name. Martin Francis Francos Gibiro Gabalo Blue. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. So. I, these are French pants, I believe, and, um, I actually sold the black ones I had for $50. So, I saw these, and I'm like, ooh, nice. Uh, what was the issue on these? That was, I think that's the issue right there. Eh, you know, not that big of an issue. But, they're solid. They are, these are like carpenter jeans, though. I don't know, um... Carpenter or, or, or what's the other word? Cargo jeans, cargo pants, or is cargo pants or is it only cargo shorts? So we're going to test that one out again. That's a good brand. I got this old Navy blue jeans, San Francisco, New York. These are also carpenter looking type jeans. Um, slash, uh, um, 
cargo, I guess. What else we got? We got this cool pattern, acid wash, um, slightly stretchy, Tommy Hilfiger, skinny, size 8, jeans. See that pattern? Yeah, or or floral, like a floral, there's like, flower, uh, not flowers, or I can't tell if those are dragonflies or just like leaves. So that's cool. Ooh, what are the, what are you? Another Tommy Hilfiger um, jeans. I feel like you can't see anything I'm doing. There we go. Whoa, sideways. Um, size. What's that? Oh, 36 by 30. Um, they're in good condition. The person did split the, 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 right there just a little bit. I don't know if it was like to cover the shoes or the ankles. I don't know. But it's not that big of a deal. Some people, some companies actually do that for you. Um, uh, Sean John's. I actually sold some Sean John's like probably like two days ago. Uh, yeah, these are just your Sean John's. It's good condition. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Uh, replay denim. Whoa, whoa, it fell on my hand. These are replay denim manufacturers. Uh, since I can't see that number, I can't see if that's 1984 or 1880, but I never sold one of these before, but they seem pretty cool. Um, this is the new bill style, I guess. Men jeans in in size in size I don't know. Hopefully the tag is in here, man. Uh, <laughs> why did I do this to myself? So I don't know where the size is. Hopefully it's in here. Uh but I did like that they were button fly. I have been finding a lot of button flies lately. Uh, these are Echo, these are some Echo, uh, jeans. Look at that. It has like a rubber texture to it at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. These are size, uh, 38. Sorry for the weird angle, but those are the jeans I have so far for, to put up. I put up more, I put up jeans already, so, like, I had some... Under Armour Storms, those are pretty nice. I have I actually have a pair for myself. Um, but yeah, are these? This is zip. Okay. So that is for the jeans, and that is for the shoes. I also picked up um, something I sold. I've bought hundreds and hundreds of pounds before, and I don't know why I stopped buying them. But. Legos. Legos. I have a couple pounds of Legos here. I'm going to wash them, clean them, and sort them. Not really sort them. I'm just going to I'm just going to um wash them and then bag them up per pound. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell them per pound. Probably like $15 per pound. Legos. So that is it for today. Oh, I guess I have this too. A random Fila um, <laughs> gym bag. <laughs> I am so sorry for this uh, close-up view. Next time I'll do better. Don't worry. I got you. So... I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I think I told you guys already. Um, I am going to start making 
I'm gonna st I'm gonna stop trying to. Well, I'm not gonna stop promoting. I'm gonna promote my website slash business on here, but it's not gonna be the main source of information for my business. This is probably gonna be like th these videos. It's gonna be my personal life as a person who is running a business or trying to. No, I am running a business. Running a business. My personal life. And, like, maybe if I get back into playing video games, playing some video games. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if I'm that interested um, or interesting, I should say. But I hope that I can at least teach you guys something or entertain you. And I guess, yeah, those are the two things. Teach you and entertain you. Um, and then if you want to check out my... YouTube for my actual business. I'll put the link below, but you can guess what the name's gonna be. It's Saved by Thrift. Um, and that also reminds me, go check out my website, savebythrift.com, and enter your email to the mailing list so that you can get a discount code. And then also I'll put a discount code in the below. So look out for that. Because my goal here for all these jeans and shoes is, I guess it's a thrift store. I want people to save money and also find unique things. Uniqueness, saving money, and just having fun. So, and then if I can provide you guys with entertainment on the videos, on these videos, and then save you money on my website... I hope I get rewarded for that as well. So that is that. Uh, I got I got business cards coming in, so that's exciting. Uh, if you follow me, I mean, if you follow, if you shop on eBay, go to my eBay store and please like my eBay store. Please like my eBay store. Um, I'll have the link below, but if you Google. Shop by Thrift, it will pop up. Uh, follow me on Instagram, shopbythrift.co. Follow me on TikTok, shopbythrift. And like my store on Facebook, shopbythrift. <laughs> you, can, you can see the theme there. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully... I can get my gaming stuff popping as well. Um, I do sell games on eBay on a different eBay account. Um, I'll put the link there too. And today, this is just off topic now. I was testing out gold. These are all 10 carats. These are chains and necklaces and bracelets. Well, chains are, I guess, those are all the same thing. So, gold. I did I did have a, I do have an eBay. Slash, I'm going to start a brand. But, before I start this brand, because I'm, I do want to start a jewelry brand. Because, um, you know, your boy. The reason why I want to start a jewelry high-end brand. Uh, well, when I say jewelry and high-end, I'm saying, I'm, I'm selling jewelry. And then... When I find high-end, like, um, clothing, it's not going to be a lot of clothing. It's going to be more on, I'm, I'm focusing on jewelry, but I can throw in some high-end clothes. If I find some high-end clothes, I'll put it up, I'll put them up, but, um, I want to have an eBay and a website. I have the name. I'm going to do an LLC for it or a C Corp, um, and have everything's, that's going to be a slow setup. In the back end, while I'm doing the jeans and the shoes and then the video games, so this is gonna be watch out. I had, I had, uh, yeah, I I know earlier last year I talked about it and then I shut it down because I'm 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 just I was spreading myself too thin, but I it's something I want to go back to. And something I, I definitely have to go back to. So, 
I'm going to do gold, jewelry, and high-end clothes. I'm going to have a website, and it's, you know... And uh, I could always start a website and do those jewelry where, where it's like, it's like plated gold. But no, I, I, I want to sell authentic, 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 authenticity. That's not, that's not a real thing. Selling authenticity. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Selling authenticity. I can't even say the word. But <laughs> I want to, I want to get back into that because it's, you know, it's, it's nice. There's something about gold, even though it it it's nothing. It's really nothing. It's just metal. I guess it's because it's shiny, you know? It's shiny. Gold is shiny. And then there's a value behind it that we put on it, just like how we put a value on the dollar or on Bitcoin or anything else. So, um, and I guess another reason why I want to start is because I never had jewelry growing I had well I had like two pieces but they're like given to me by my mom but I've never had I've never like bought jewelry and I've always wanted like a Cuban a Cuban chain um and I'm just like I could buy it by selling jewelry like I don't want anything flashy nothing crazy or too thick just you know something simple and uh, and it's like the the I was listening to a podcast where uh this woman she said she started a gym because she was uh, uh, overweight and she felt um she felt bad and I'm in my head I'm like you could just go to the gym and and, and just pay a monthly fee but in her head she's like if I'm going to if I'm going to lose weight I have to own my own gym and she she owns her own gym and it's just it's just so funny to think about. It's just like one time I wanted a pair of headphones, the Sony, uh, the Sony one thousand, blah blah blah, right? And instead of just saving up or buying or just uh taking out a loan or whatever for those headphones, I went ahead and um bought a uh like um. A, a a bundle of headphones that were that were um refurbished and then with that money i actually bought the headphones i wanted and it was just so funny it's like i could have just saved so much time and just bought the headphones but instead i went ahead and started like buying and reselling headphones just because i wanted to buy one so that was just so funny and i'm actually doing the same thing right now with the phone I want. My the phone I'm currently using is so busted up. Like if I slide my finger the wrong way, I can cut myself. The front and the back is busted. And I'm always running out of memory. It's always dying really fast. And I'm like, I want a new phone. So I'm literally going out of my way buying and selling stuff to make the money to get that phone I want. Yeah, I always make it a little more comp complicated, but it's, you know, it's me. And hopefully next year we'll see, or in, a, or, in a, or in two years we'll see my jewelry business. But for now, I'm working on my jeans and my thrift store. Well, the jeans are the thrift store, but it's my thrift store is mostly jeans. Some shirts, some shoes some books, stuff like that. But I'm trying to provide everyone with jeans. <laughs> well, it's uh, hitting 29 minutes, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, like I said, check out my, my website. Um, it's uh, savebythrift.com. Check out my Instagram, TikTok, and then my new YouTube that I'm gonna, I'm gonna start putting posting videos up to. You can always just Google everything. Save by thrift, and you will find me. And also, follow me on eBay, please. Follow me on eBay. You guys have a good one.